Right. Um. 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 Yes. <laughs> It's hard to say, really, without being a bit... <sighs> but it's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pull you in there. I think my greatest ever kiss was probably his cousin uh, when we was out on a night out once. That's it. <laughs> he kissed my cousin? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was the one on my wedding day. Uh, when I married my wife, first time I saw her in a beautiful wedding dress and uh, I was knocked out. Uh, and I'll remember that one for the rest of my life, I should think. It was one that I shared with my husband in a lift in Sweden. He knows the rest of the story. <laughs> it's the night that I met my husband-to-be. Um, probably went on for about three hours. It's pretty good. Hence, I'm marrying him on Monday. First night I met her when I took her home in the car. I think he was hoping for more, but... <laughs> But no, <laughs> I went in. <laughs> Growing up through school, there's always that one girl that's always older and you think, oh, you know, she's amazing, everyone thinks, you know, oh, I would love to kind of get with her. Because it was with my now wife, Vicky. We'd had a few dates, nothing had happened, but you know what? I was madly in love with her. Me and my husband, our wedding day probably is our, my, my most remembered kiss. You no, know, like, Dad, like, working away, like, up London, you don't see him all day and then comes home. Of me even to give him a kiss, obviously not now, but when I was younger. Yeah, I suppose something like that, really. I woke up in the morning to find my four nieces and nephews jumping on me, giving me lots of cuddles and kisses. My greatest ever kiss was this one. Oh. My greatest kiss was on the 11th of November 2009 when my daughter was born. She was six weeks premature, we almost lost her. It took us six years to have a baby, and it was probably the best day of my life. My newborn baby. Um, when it was born, all my, all my three boys basically, um, when they were born, yeah, I would say that was really, really something special and something that, you, that stays with you for the rest of your life. Um, yeah, I would say that was my favourite kiss. day at school and I was with my friends and we decided to go up to the shop and just get some lunch and um, we shouldn't have really been out of school because it was a free period but um, the fire drill went so our friend texted us and let us know and we all ran back up from the shop so we came to actually like this point here and um, we were all out of breath and running and then one of the teachers did call me up in front of the, like the whole school and um, at that point I just collapsed and no one knew what was wrong until they checked and they found that I wasn't breathing. One of the reception ladies luckily knew CPR and started giving me chest compressions and mouth to mouth and um, that was before the first responder from down the road called Steve. He um, came with his defibrillator and um, attached that to me to restart my heart. As a mum, I would be thrilled if my daughters were taught ELS at school. Why not give them the ability to save another human being's life? I am supporting the British Heart Foundation's ELS campaign because I think it's vital that every child could potentially save their friend's life. Sign up to the petition today and save lives.